you talk about that he kind of turned into his uh, right heel and his right hip. Uh, his right leg was supporting his right side. Why was that so important for him, the pivot that he made? Well, it, first of all, it kept his lower body more over the ball than, uh, than what most people did at that particular time. Now, they're, now, if you'll notice golf today, they're playing more with their lower body, uh, more on the quiet side, and their upper body doing most of the work. And so there's been quite a change in, in the golf swing. Years ago, you started to swing back with your feet, and you started to downswing with your feet. And now it's starting the back swing, uh, moving against your right side with the lower body doing very little and the upper body doing most of the work. I know that I watched, for example, uh, Suzanne Pedersen when she won the women's uh, major tournament in France recently. And I see it with Tiger, and I see it with a lot of the modern players uh, they almost lock their lower body and just take the upper body and, and really rotate it. And uh, I don't think that's something that physically Ben would have been able to do because of some of the problems that he had from the injury, huh? Well, basically, it was his left side that was, that was uh, where he took all the hits in the car accident. It wasn't his right side. It was his left side. And, of course, that may be one of the reasons that Ben made the change in, in his swing um, because I've talked to other pros years ago that had played with Ben before his accident and after his accident, and they actually thought that Ben was a better striker of the golf ball after the accident than he was before. Now, of course, he wasn't near as long, as he was before, because Jimmy DeMera told me that Ben was 10 yards longer than Sam Snead off the tee and one iron stronger than Sam. Well, a lot of people wouldn't uh, realize, uh, of course, Ben was uh, uh, very strong and very wiry, but he wasn't a, a big, big person. Uh, but uh, a lot of times... Uh, he would win driving contests again before the accident because he could get out there and really hit it. Yeah, he, he really could. I mean, he, he naturally had a strong grip years ago, and uh, and then he could just, he just rear back, just really got back of the ball with everything and then just poured everything he had into it coming down. And, of course, even at that time, his right hand was underneath, the, was on the side of the shaft and not on top of the shaft coming down. 